And I'm getting mighty tired of your trifling ways and of listening to that jackass Bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. I got laid off. And that's, that's back when I was at the casino. That was back when I did that play with Johnny Gill and Vivica Fox. Now, I've been out here getting it. Uh-uh, you know what? You ever meet somebody who just gets on your last nerve? You Is that I mean? my phone? Uh, rude. Uh, I'm updating my Facebook status. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, you ever meet somebody who is so annoying, huh? Have you? Yes. Do you? Yes. That's something that you need to chew on. <laughs> then <Delighted>. lie <laughs> Where you been hiding, a manger? You know Bush is looking for you. Oh, I just don't Look, a year or two of taxes, it can't be that bad. Well, it's not like one or two years. It's like the last five years. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Let me look into your future. Girl, you going to jail. <laughs> Girl, they about to Ron Idly Wesley snipe your butt. They gonna throw all your stuff all out on the curb. Even them cute little shoes, because you know you can't wear them in prison. Might as well sell them to me for $20. <laughs> Girl, you about to be shackled. Ka-clink. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. Ka-clink. Something like that. I have that kind of money. Ka-clink. You know what? Where is the manager? Where is the manager? I'm gonna do something about this girl. Pee in the kitchen. Uh-uh. Pay drop. See you later, girlfriend. Hope you enjoyed our soul food. Nice to meet you. I'm tired. Lisa! See you later, boyfriend. Lisa! Girl, you almost got lit up! Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> you wanna get lit up? Did I miss something? <laughs> wow. Uh, you'd like to join me? I sure would. Oh, have a seat. Okay. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> I'm Todd. I'm Diane. It's a pleasure to meet you, Diane. Uh-uh, girlfriend, you are just stank. And all men ain't nothing but dogs. All you need is a fire hydrant, McGruff. <laughs> you all right, baby? <laughs> you know you reap what you sow. Vivica's very nice, by the way. Just so, side note, because, you know, we got some in common and shit. She's very nice. Um, she's professional as fuck, too. Child, Vivica ain't never pick up the script. Never. None. While we was working up, like, none. She never had a script. Baby knew every line. Do you hear me? She was, <laughs> she knew everybody else. Vivica was, was professional as fuck. She knew all the lines. I ain't never seen it. Like, my mother was still, they weren't off book yet. They was, they, well, I'll tell you one thing. If I got something to say about it, bitch, Vivica was in there. No, another thing. See, like, she had her shit together. And she was very sweet. She was nice to me. So, I mean, shit, she's the greatest. I ain't got shit to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> she, was, she was nice to me. She was a bank. And she was professional as fuck. So, you know, whatever. But, yeah, and Johnny Gill, he played too much. He's a prankster. Could you imagine? He's a prankster. Had the baddest drop-top Bentley I've ever seen in my motherfucking life at the time. No, he didn't do it. It was, it was black. It was drop-top. It was a Bentley. That shit was cold. It's like, where did get this shit from? Space? What the fuck is this? And listen, I don't know. what Johnny, I don't know what the fuck he was on. That shit was late. I mean, it, at, at the time, it was the coldest Bentley I ever seen in my life. And he was a prankster. 
Johnny be stealing your food and shit. Like Johnny was like he's a, he's a trickster. I didn't know that. It was kind of cool to see. Like, I remember you from Nordisha. Oh shit. <laughs> from boys to men. Like. Anyway, I, I did that. I was uh, getting my thing down. That's when my sad car was starting to come in. I look, a bitch had shit going on. You know, shit was capping. So I didn't, I didn't get wild now. It wasn't the end of the world. I really wanted it really bad, and I was very nervous. But it wasn't the end of the world. But you know, to my ex husband, you know, somebody who ain't familiar with this life, don't really know what the fuck is going on. You know, it's like, oh, okay. And this is how he started to show his hand with me that he was there for a come up. He was just waiting. Trying to wait it out until I blew up and then trap me. Like, yeah, I got you. You know. Because he didn't even, he, he, you know, um, I was trying to get him to come and, you know, like be my security and shit when I was doing shows. And he would just give me like the biggest attitude. He would like, you know, um, well, I don't understand. If you don't feel safe, why would you take the show? Nigga, because I do this. What do you mean? Why would I take the show? What are you talking about? <sighs> he was like, well, I mean, if, if the guy's coming on to you and you don't know the guy, why would you take the show? We don't know none of these motherfuckers. What do you mean? These aren't our friends. This is business. Like he couldn't. He couldn't understand that. So we would have those type of fights. This motherfucker was calling comedy clubs, asking them, where am I? We live together. We share a bed. What, what, where am I supposed to go? Do you think I'm not coming home? You do know this is my work, right? I'm not calling your job asking your, your coworkers bullshit questions, do I? Don't call the comedy clubs. What are you doing? Well, I'm just saying, you, what it was was the insecurity of the type of people I be around. Once again, I brought this up earlier. Dion show had finally, he finally got one that was on TV. So, you know, this nigga sitting up here watching commercials. He know that, I mean, it's Chicago. Everybody talks. Every, it, yeah. Lying, cause you're we, 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 I, and, and moving back to Chicago really kind of was a bad move. But I felt bad because I was newly married. What the fuck am I supposed to do? He come from a huge family. We got married in Vegas, which I recommend. Vegas is lit. I would do it again if I had the chance to. It was lit. It, you know, I, listen. I did both things, okay? Because I'm a people pleaser. I gave my mother the wedding ceremony that she wanted. I, it wasn't even the one I wanted, okay? You would have thought it was her wedding all over again. But she wanted that, and I'm glad I gave it to her. She didn't have to get buried in that damn dress, though. She got buried in the dress that, uh, that she wore to my wedding. That's how she wanted to be remembered forever. about pressure huh it gets hard being the model kid all the goddamn time my mom i, I shared this with y'all one of her side hustles was wedding planning. So she put it on me. I haven't seen any of my kids get married. <laughs> and I'm dying of cancer. And I can't see none of my kids get married. Lisa's married too. Why don't you? Lisa lives in Chicago with you. She went to Justice of the Peace. And she got two babies. She wasn't even going to get married to Uno. But, you know, she having babies out of wedlock and y'all... 
go get married. She went to Justice of the Peace. Throw her away. She lives there. Right, how you gonna go to Vegas and just get married? And, I mean, I, I was catching it from cousins. I was catching it from auntie. I was catching it. I was catching his family. Like I stole <laughs> That's so racist. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I just grabbed him and threw him in a boat and get the fuck over here. Like, what the fuck? Like I stole him and shit. How the fuck you just gonna go and get, get, get mad? You had her wedding ceremony. You ain't invite nobody. So now... I gotta pay forty dollars a plate, open bar all night, three hundred dollars for a DJ. What else I buy? How much we spend on that cake? I don't know. Probably two hundred dollars. For y'all to sit at the Hilton and for us to have a ceremony. Just so y'all can still hate me. <laughs> so y'all can still hate me three years later. That was fun. Let's do that again, family. And my cousin punched my other cousin in the face over my bouquet. Clocked that bitch in the face. <laughs> when I did the bouquet toss. They got to throw in both. <laughs> Oh my god, it was such a shit show. I was like, all right, one, two. She was like, bitch! Woo! I'm so lucky, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, I ain't black. God, you just gonna punch her like that! <laughs> I'm not lying, Tiffany Teller! You punched Maria in the face, you know you did. <laughs> she was like, like <laughs> here's what's funny though. Both of them got married though. Both of them got married. I think Tiffany got married like a year after, and Marie got married in 2016. I got my my um my my, my both my weddings was in 2013. Um, cause I got married on Valentine's Day, and then we renewed the vows and did all the we you know we I, I, that I, by then I was already on my numerology journey, so we did eight eight twenty. Shut up! I, I was on some stupid shit. Anyway, <laughs> I was on my numerology shit. Eight is number prosperity longevity. It was stupid. Cause I didn't laugh. I was on some stupid shit. Clock that goddamn it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're throwing the <laughs> Marie, my eye! My eye! Drop. <laughs> she might as well have drop kicked her. Fuck it. My sister, my older sister, can't shut the fuck up during my vows. Oh, this bitch is trying to get married with us. My sister gave me shit. She told me she couldn't be in the wedding. Bitch, I don't even want this wedding. We doing this for mama, okay? <laughs> his father, his father's girlfriend, and his cousins really love him, and they really support him, and they coming all the way from the East Coast. We're doing this. It's This is happening. It's a thing, okay? I don't have money for a dress. I will buy you a dress, okay? Let's just Let's just do this. I, I, you know, I just don't, I can't be involved. Okay, no problem. Baby. Well, I had already, like, I'm on some bullshit. Once I got engaged and we really decided we was doing this, when we really was like, we doing this, bitch, I ordered me a dress from Barry Wang. I went out here trying to play with these hoes. Okay, I have, this was cute. This was cute. This was cute. My mama got on my goddamn nerves with this wig. We fought, y'all. But this was cute. I had, I bought, I had my Vera Wang dress. I had my stilettos and stuff like that. And my mom was like, what's your veil? Where's your veil? You gotta have a veil. I'm like, mom, I'm already married. Like, we're like, you usually you have a veil, he lift the veil, and you can't. She's like, you gotta have a veil. She went out and bought me the matching Vera Wang. I was Vera Wang to death, G. Just the veil, I had the, the trail, all the shit. It was cute. It was cute. You gotta have the veil. You gotta, you, you're wearing Vera, you have to wear the veil. We go to David's bridal. I get bridal gowns on clearance. I only got two sisters. <laughs> we're not making, we're, we, listen, we're doing this for me. Okay? I got two sisters. All the men, I sent them to um, 
men's men's warehouse, whatever. Everybody got all the men had rentals. Okay, they it was just for the day. Y'all y'all get on down and y'all y'all look nice. Take that shit back next tomorrow. <laughs> all the men had rentals. I went to Dave's bridal. And, you know, I was getting bridal gowns and I was like, you know, yellow is a very pretty color. It's very beautiful. It's a color renewal. You know, I'm all, I be on my sunflower shit sometimes. And I was like, that'll be really pretty. Like yellow bridesmaid's dress. Like, yeah. Found the dresses. Okay. My little sister, she was a little, she was a writer. She was a writer at first. She was like, oh, these are cute. I can't wait to try mine on. We're in Davis bridal. My oldest sister starts crying. It was supposed to be my turn first. Bitch, I'm already married. You, you do realize this outburst is late. <laughs> Bitch, you about six. Bitch, you about four, five months late anyway. Bitch, I'm already married. This is a. We're doing this for mama. It's about to be my turn. Bitch, don't do this here. And we, you know, like, then you got to get ghetto. Bitch, we the black family. If you don't shut the fuck up, you embarrass me in this motherfucking store. Like, you got to <laughs> grab a bitch by, bitch, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why we got to be loud, motherfuckers, since we black? Bitch, shut up. She starts to cry. Um, we buy the dresses. We trying them on. I mean, this ain't really my weight. You know, I'm, I'm much slimmer than this, you know, but I wasn't prepared. You know, she just deciding to get married and shit at the last minute. I ain't even get... Let's try to dress on and shut the fuck up. Let's go. The day of the wedding, she shows up in a whole nother dress that she bought. You heard me. I can't be in your wedding. I can't afford a dress. I can't be in your wedding. I can't be in your wedding. I can't be in your wedding. Be in your wedding. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Lisa gonna be down. We go to David's bridal to do the dress. Oh, she had to go. Bitch, I thought you didn't want to. I thought you had no part of it. I picked the dresses. They were pretty. They were pretty yellow bride gowns. Lisa's being cooperative. We had no static out of Lisa. Lisa goes trying to dress. We're having a moment. <laughs> stop acting like a cancer, bitch. Like, stop getting in your feelings. Sensitive, bitch. Cut it. Get it together. <laughs> You're getting a free dress, okay? Because you, you can't pay for the dress. We got it. We're doing this for mama. Bitch shows up with her own dress. She bought so now we're not matching no more. What are we doing? <laughs> Mama's just remixing, making their own renditions of shit. My father shows up late. He's supposed to walk me out of late. He won't take off his sunglasses. Nigga, who the fuck are you? <laughs> who would, and then he has to leave early. What is we doing? What is this? My mama acted like it's her way. You like the centerpieces? Yeah, I see. I designed. We did like, man, look. My brother was the best part of the wedding because he went out and bought cases of Moet and, and, and blessed everybody with Moet. And Moet is my shit. And, and you know, he turned me on to wine. Uh, not wine. He turned me on to champagne. The reason why, I ain't never had no Don Perignon, nothing, if it wasn't for my brother. And, like, my brother got me on my bougie swag. He laced in everybody. We had Moet laid out everywhere. And that was a real flight. I was pimp shit on top of the open bar. Man, we was lit. This bitch don't want to shut up doing the vows. Arana, do you take Raffi? They sure do. Bitch, shut up. That's not how this works. Oh, what the? Stop watching movies. This ain't my best friend's wedding. This ain't father. What the fuck are you doing? I'm talking real outbursts, y'all. Does anybody? <laughs> if anybody think, uh, nah, they ain't going to be doing that. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> It was a nightmare, okay? It was horrible. I started my period in the middle of the month. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Uh, I no, I feel like I did. No, I did. I started my period, because that was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that, that makes sense. I started my period. So now, and I'm wearing all white. That's how stressed I was. Then I don't see another period for like months. And that's when the truth is that funny. Uh, look here, you that work at Guitar Center. I've worked with Chris Rock's writers and they think I'm funny. 
You do know my ex is on Conan, right? You, you do know some of my bits made it on the show. Conan closed with one of my jokes. I know I'm funny. Oh, yeah, yeah, that Conan, the one I used to write for The Simpsons. Who the fuck are you telling me? But not only that, I think I'm pregnant and now that's, that's this. This is how you want to tell me this. You tried to trap me. Nah, nah, nah. I slept on the couch. I didn't even, I, I just, I didn't even want to hear it. I slept on the couch. My birthday season rolled around. And um, it was, it was a lot going on. And I remember sitting there and, and oh, and my stomach was starting to get like kind of pudgy. I was like feeling shit I never felt before. Like getting sleeping was uncomfortable because I always felt like I was squashing something. You know, like I was like, oh, shit, is that a life? I don't know. What does that mean? <laughs> I, that's when I started having talks with my mama like, Bitch, how you know you're pregnant? Bro? All that. I was sitting at the Cubs game and all of a sudden I was like. I ran to the bathroom. I was the happiest bathroom visit I ever had in my life. We had floor seats at the Cubs game. I was so, oh, thank you, Jesus. I, I literally heard God say, don't fuck it up. <laughs> I'm sparing you this time. Don't fuck it up. I got you. I got so drunk. Oh, oh. I was at the Cubs game throwing it. Oh, God, no. Oh, give me that shit. <laughs> Not right there. Oh, I ate so much Giordano's pizza. We, we was so the fuck up on the L the way back. My brother threw up on the train. <laughs> we were so lit. Oh, we were, oh God, oh God. I was so happy. <laughs> they put me on the jumbo truck. <laughs> happy birthday, Ronnie. <laughs> I got a swag bag and shit. Nigga, I was drunk. Then I had to, you know, after the, the, the hype of my birthday died down, he come in with flowers and shit. And we had to have our come to Jesus moment. And uh, I'm realizing that, nah, he, he you know, he, he really is just here for the ride. You know, he wasn't really, you know, deeply invested. And we, we still started having like real bad arguments over the smallest, simplest things. And I'm like, dude, it's too early for us to not to have no peace. We are so new at this. We really should be fucking like rabbits right now and sharing our secrets and, and going deep. And why aren't we? Dude, I love through alcoholism. That's real love. Like, fuck the bullshit of, you know, like the other shit that happened. But, like, he ended up kicking alcohol. And I was around for it. He ended up quitting cigarettes. I was around for it. It was a vast transformation of the guy that I met when I was 23. I loved him through all, because that's, you know, one of the things that I was going through at the time was I really wanted to know what love, what is love? You know what I mean? Like I said, me and my family, we weren't really telling each other we loved, uh, we loved each other and stuff like that. And I, you know, I prayed about it a lot. I, 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 what is love? Like, I want love. Like, is this, like, it, and, 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 you know, now that I'm older, I have a whole different definition because let me tell you, like I said on the podcast, the other parts of the podcast early, love is not the ability to, you know, be strong and just accept, you know, to, to, to endure bullshit and that's love. No, it ain't going to be all roses and, and, and cream and peaches and shit. Things are going to happen. They, things are going to happen. Okay. But that's where love comes in. You know what I'm saying? But your whole relationship shouldn't be just. You know, there should be a deeper knowing, an inner knowing that you have with each other. The, the weirdest, I can't explain this shit. I, I can only just tell you the truth and tell you how it feels. The weirdest shit about it was sometimes I felt the safest when I was around Dion. Despite the shit that he did and, 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 and the dynamic, like I said, we was both toxic. 
I put that on both of us. Because it was, it was a lot of shit that we both, we were learning. I was 23, he was 35 when I met him. Like, it was a lot of shit going on. Um, And it was a lot, it was a lot of shit. Going, it was a lot of hateration, holleration. It was a lot of shit going on, dude. And, but there were times where it was like, he was my emergency contact for like the longest time. Cause I was like, I know I can put him down and shit will be straight. I, I can, I can rely on him to us. I know, like, even if he don't want to do the shit and he give me an attitude or he talk shit the whole way through that earth sign inside of him kicks in and the motherfucker comes through. And even having that, you I be looking around for that in other people and I don't have it. I don't have it. I want it. I be looking for it. I don't have it. I never had it. The closest I've ever gotten it was being involved with that. That's why real get on my goddamn marriage. Let's get back to him and his wild not shit. All this shit happens. Marriage falls apart. I let my husband keep all of uh, the wedding gifts. He came into the relationship with two duffel bags. So you enjoy all that shit my family spent money on. You enjoy all that shit. I mean, I'm talking about my cousin got us like glassware from Bloomingdale. You know, we was, I'm going to bed in Oscar de la Renta pajamas and shit. But you have fun with that. Um, whatever don't fit in this little BMW station wagon is yours. And whatever fit is coming with me to California. I get out, I, I go back to LA, and I'm by myself again. All by myself. Um, start hanging out with Dion again. Because... He old faithful. We go into the Eminem Rihanna concerts at the Rose Bowl. We hanging out. We laughing. We having good times. But it's not the same as what it used to be. Because, bitch, you got married on me. I know. But what did you do? I mean, we weren't really on talking terms. And, you know... And I'm getting mighty tired of your traveling ways and of listening to that jackass bray. Liar, liar, pants on fire. 